Hello Primary 6, how are you today? I'm Miss Sara, I'm teaching science and today we're going to talk about the cell. As you can see here, Primary 6, this is a builder that uses bricks super, so this and this and this are bricks to make a wall and walls make buildings, right? So, as a brick is the building unit or the main building unit of walls or buildings, cell is the main building unit of life structure and function of all living organisms on the earth. What is the meaning of that? When I say cell is the main building unit of your body, so it is responsible for your body structure and also it is responsible for your organs and your body function and also it is responsible for your life so as a brick is a building unit of walls and buildings or buildings cell is the main building unit of life structure and function of all living organism it can be human it can be animals it can be plants on the earth so cell is the main building unit, the main building unit of the body of any living organism, human, animals, or plant that carries out all its vital activities. So, cell is the main building unit of the body of any living organism that carries out all its vital activity. This is the definition of the cell. Cell is very tiny primary six. Cell is very tiny that you cannot see it by your naked eye. You cannot see it with your naked eye as its lens is between 0 0.1 millimeter to 0 0.005 millimeter. It is very, very tiny primary six. So we need to use a device. We need to use a special device to see the cell to allow us to see the cell. This device is called microscope. So the cell is very tiny that you can see by your naked eye as its lens is between 0 0.1 millimeter to 0 0.005 millimeter. So you need to use a special device which is called microscope to see the cell and its structure, okay? What is this primary sex? A flower, right? And how about this? A cow. A flower is a plant, right? And a cow is an animal, right? Do they have the same cell? Do they have the same cell? No. We have different cells. We have different cells according to the different living organism primary sex. So we have plant cell and we have animal cell. This is the shape of plant cell and this is the shape of animal cell. Animal cells differ from plant cells in the shape and structure. So, the shape and the structure of the plant cell is different than the animal shape and structure. We have similarities and we have differences between cells of primary sex. As you can see here, all cells have a cell membrane. So, it is a similarity. All cells have a cell membrane. This is the cell membrane of the animal cell. Can you see the cell membrane? And in the plant cell, you can see this is the plant cell membrane primary sex. So all cells have cell membrane, have cell membrane. Also, not all cells have cell wall only plant cell have the cell wall this is the cell wall that is found in the plant cell and you cannot find the cell wall in the animal cell so animal cell have no cell wall so not all cells have cell wall but only the plant cell also we have another difference between cells the primary sex we have here the nucleus not all cells have a nucleus primary six. We have here in the animal cell nucleus and we have here in the plant cell a nucleus also. But not all cells have nucleus as the red blood cells. Red blood cells have no nucleus. So not all cells have 
and nucleus super in one living organism primary sex we have different shape of cells this is the shape of muscle cell and this is the shape of bone cell so we have in one living organism different shape of cells so cells of one living organism aren't identical or aren't similar so they differ in shape they differ in shape this is the muscle shape and this is the bone shape of the cell all living organisms grow primary sex all living organisms grow how by increasing the number of the cells by increasing the number of the cells as you can see here we have one cell that become two cells as well as here we have one cell that become into two cells so the number of the cells is increasing not the size so cells don't increase in size but they increase in numbers cells don't increase in size they don't become bigger in size but they increase in the number of the cells all cells the primary sex have their own needs have their own needs what are the needs of the cell any cell needs energy any cell needs energy to carry out or to do its vital activities and also to get rid of waste material or the bad material that is forming in the cell during the vital activities so any cell needs energy okay to have energy to have energy cell need three cell need three they need water need nutrients need oxygen to get energy so any cell needs water nutrients and oxygen to get energy how the water come in or out from the cell primary sex with the cell membrane super so water enters the cell through the cell membrane water enters or gets out from the cell through the cell membrane this is the cell membrane primary sex this is the cell membrane in the plant cell and this is the cell membrane in the animal cell so water enters or gets out from the cell through the cell membrane we have cells that you can see with your eyes primary sex some cells are too large that you can see with your naked eyes which is one big cell one big or large cell which is the unfertilized bird egg unfertilized egg that means this egg will not be a baby or a chick okay so unfertilized bird egg is one big cell or the two large that you can see with your naked eyes we have a living organism a primary sex that its body is formed from one cell only and the length of this cell is less than 0.005 millimeter this living organism is the bacteria so bacteria is a living organism that its body consists of one cell only one cell only that its length is less than 0.005 millimeter this was our lesson for today. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Goodbye.